Hey everyone, my name is Anthony and today I want to present to you the really quick way to create a prototype of your future application if you want to make some demo or uh, some sort of a concept or prototype, the Vutify. So this is a official and authorized library, a component library framework actually for the Vue.js version three. So this is pretty much as the bootstrap as you probably saw on my channel when you are using the pre-built styles and pre-built components to create your web page. That's exactly the same, but considering Vue.js as the main framework you're working with. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So let's go to the get started and check the page. Uh, they have really interesting uh, component list, which has buttons like this with icon, uh, with prepend and append icon stuck. Uh, outline, text, plane, a lot of stuff. They have some cards, for instance, with a title, with loading, and huge amount of stuff like dialogues, model windows, uh, expansion panels, and so on and so forth. They also have a navigation bars, uh, collapse, rounded, uh, with actions, with box shadow, and so on and so forth. So. Let's get into it. We have the get started and the installation. If you are sort of creating the product from scratch project, you can use these either yarn or npm or pnpm commands to create the project with Vue.js and Vuedify. But since we already have our online shop that we built in the previous videos, I want to add the Vuedify into my existing project. Here's the manual steps. Uh, they using yarn. If you use yarn, that's totally fine. Just use it. But we're going to use the NPM. So what I do, I just copy that thing, go to my terminal. You can do it either from the uh, from the actual terminal or from the terminal from your project. And we say NPM install Vutify version 338. Now let's do this thing, this thing and say app use, use Vutify. Perfect. Now let's give it a try. So in the catalog, we have that kind of ugly displaying of the elements. I want to do it first of all, using the card. I want it to be like title, subtitle, action actually. And what do we have outline, tonal? Yeah, let's have a default and let's copy that thingy and let's go and put it in our product div and replace something. Uh, okay, let's do it this way. Let's move it vertical. And I wanna have, do we have an image actually? No, we don't have an image. We will do it later on. So on the title, I want to have product brand. But of course, we need to bind it with the column here. Subtitle gonna be product description. And text, what is text actually? Subtitle, ah, this is text. Uh, no, let, let's do here price and here product description. And the button is going to be add to cart. And obviously, we will need to have click event, click on the V button. Perfect looks just a little bit weird. Let's do it this way. Okay. Now we can remove it here. And I want to put an image into the card. And let's see, do we have any slots? Anatomy, basics. Do we have anything with Oh, with the image content wrapping the V card component is useful for wrapping content, custom actions. Uh, how can I put it here? So I just put V image, V 
vcard title in the vcard. Okay, let's do it this way. Uh, like this. And uh, we need to replace what was the sorry, where was my image? Uh, okay, once again, copy vcard content vcard, okay, and replace the SRC with our project source. And let's see what we've got. We save it and we go back, refresh. And yeah, I want to remove my styles also. Product, flex basis, padding. Let's actually remove everything from here for now. Cancel, remove, yes, save, yes. The only thing is that I want this code to card title, card subtitle, card max width, a mix auto card. By the way, I don't need any div for now. So let's remove the div and put everything on the card like this. Refresh. Okay, the only problem is that we have an image on top and uh, let me see how did they expand. Uh, how did top Western road trips the image cover high 200 V card, V card title. Okay, let's do this way. We put V card under the image. Uh, we actually can have just a closing tag, I believe. We V card, which is gonna be title product, product brand. And we're gonna have subtitle product uh, price, right? And uh, yeah, 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 button V card text. We're gonna have V card text for the product. Uh, description and I want to remove this from here completely. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, perfect. We have uh, image. Uh, we have name price um, with dollar. Uh, we have description. Awesome. Now I want to, to have it with the proper display three in a row, let's say so let's go back. And let's scroll a little bit and see the grids. They have the pretty standard uh, flex box gridding uh, approach, let's say. So let's go and say, for example, let's test a little bit. If we make smaller, will it wrap? Yeah, it's gonna wrap. So now let's just check the code. Let's just... Uh, Add the code. We probably don't need a container. Actually, we just need a V row. So what I want to do is I want to, okay, let's hide it for now. I want to have a V row, no gutters, meaning no puttings and margins. We have, we're going to have column and uh, I want to have my card inside the column uh, here, the shit class. Okay, like here, but now I want to move all that stuff to the column, right? Because I want to have one row and multiple columns. Uh, I don't need key, I don't need V4 here by default. And let's move these guys to the top. Let's see what we've got. We have it look awesome, right? Um, yeah, they have different uh, height, but uh, who cares? So without writing any single style, we have 
a nice looking UI um, and the click event is triggering. We have a button with a hover effect. We can also click it also with an effect. Uh, and we can use just the button, for example, on my on my product detail page, I have quite an ugly button. So let's go to the buttons, t -t 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 buttons, and I want a default button, the blue one, let's say, where we have colors, colors, uh, variant, v value, yeah, variants. I want this guy. Evaluated. Evaluates the button with a shadow. Oh, I want that button. So let's go and create a V button on the product details. V button. Add to cart. And it's gonna have variant of elevated, right? And let's check this out. Yeah, we need to remove one hour this button. Cool, we do have it. But what else do we have? I want a color. Where is my color? Button? Uh, do we have any? Do they have any sort of color? Yeah, we have color primary. Or what is it? Yeah, primary is okay. This is primary. What if warning? This is orange. Uh, secondary, nice looking. And what is we have probably this success as well. And error. So a bunch of a bunch of different types. I just can't find it that <laughs> quickly in the docs. Um, where could it be? API V button. Okay. A pen icon color, color success, purple color pages. So basically, we can have any of these colors. So let's say I want it to be indigo light and three. So theoretically, if I pass it here, and go, I have it indigo, right? So feel free to pick any color It's a huge color palette. Uh, just yeah, anything. For instance, I want to have also the uh, heading component here. Let's see, do we have a header? Header. The data picker. Actually, it is components, dividers, menus. What is the menu? All right, a drop down. Okay, out of complete checkbox forms. They have tables. They have everything you might ever need. Alert pages. Uh, where is the, maybe it's a toolbar pagination? Ah, navigation. No. Footer bottom navigation app bars. Yeah, like this. We can have it on top. Uh, menus overlays, sheets, tooltips, toolbars. Yeah, here's our toolbar, evaluated, bordered, default. And we can, yeah, make it like this even. And let's go to our app and change our header, change our div, and let's have items and card in here, for example. Right, and we also want to have a click on the on the P. Uh, yeah. Yep, we have it. Let's remove the initial div. And let's uh, make actually it's not a P but V button. Why the hell no, right? We have a button. Let's make it color, uh, color, color, color. Uh, where is the color? Color primary, primary, right? Uh, and I don't want it to be outline. I want it to be buttons. Uh, t default variant, default maybe variant. Variant elevated. Yeah, perfect. 
So add to cart. We have some issues, I believe, here. No, or we need to just refresh. And let's actually um, let's actually replace the button on our product detail. Click is going to be roto push to catalog and uh, back to catalog is going to be the name looks kind of weird to be honest. Yeah, this looks better. Uh, right. So we don't need this. Now let's go. Let's refresh it. We click uh, back to catalog. Perfect. Add to cart. Why is it not clicking? I don't understand. Uh, product details button. Ah, yeah, because I don't have a uh, any click event here. Sorry, color. Uh, and the click is gonna be add to cart. And I think we were passing. Uh, ah, no, we, we were not passing anything here. Refresh, click, yeah, perfect. And we can do whatever we want. We can, for example, do we have some search bars? Search, example, search, what is that? Filtering, ah, it's, it's part of the table. Vcard, text field, search. Yeah, we, we have also the text fields, which we can use. Um, Let's try V model. Uh, let's create something just for testing const search ref uh, empty string ref 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 and uh, pum 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 back to catalog. Yeah, we have an input with some effects here. Of course, it's not going to search anything. Uh, we can have a bunch of a bunch of let's see form. Mm, where do we have it? Picker text field uh, dun, 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 dun. text fields. It can be with a prepend with some uh, with some thing here. Uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff you can customize here and make it look perfect. Refresh. Yeah, we have some label, we have some icon here. Uh, we have some invisible, I don't know why <laughs> clearing icon. So overall, the amazing tool for very quick prototyping, if you don't care about styles, if you don't want to write a bunch of markup, you can just use it and it will be quite adaptive. Uh, so yeah, with a lot of animations, feel free to use. It's absolutely free and not, not hard installation at all. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Hope it would be useful for you and yep. Give a like subscribe and see you in the new videos. Cheers. Bye bye.